Hello and welcome to new session of Future Cam 2016. We are in chapter 2.2.1. In this chapter we will be explaining you how to create a geometry and how to do snapping while creating a geometry. Since it's a, a big chapter we have divided this geometric creation and snapping into two or three small videos so that viewer can understand it. There are mainly three ways to create a geometry. First, in a toolbox, you click on this geometry and this window will pop up. Here, we have point creation, line, circle, fillet, arc, dimension the parts and trim or extend the part. The other way of creating a geometry is go to toolbar, click on expand construct then you will get this all the detail, geometric construction menus in this and you can use it. The third way of creating a geometry is we have an exclusively uh, a toolbar for it, menu bar for it. In this menu bar you click on the icons and you, you will be able to create the geometry. Next there are mainly two ways of creating uh, or defining snapping the first way is go to options and click on the snapping modes and we have few snapping methods like grid point snapping point snapping end points midpoints even sections snapping to a tool path snapping to intersection circle centers quadrants objects tangent and then cylinder centers. The other way of setting snapping is using the snapping menu bar. This menu bar might not be available when you open the uh, feature cam for first time. You need to uh, select the menu bar by right clicking the in the menu region and ticking it. So first we will go through how to create lines. I will start with vertical line because a vertical line is kind of easy to create. So this is the icon and you can see in the feature creation uh, area when you click on this vertical line you will see a yellow box here this is the area where you need to enter the dimension so if you enter 5 you will create a vertical line which is parallel to x axis that is 5 mm and if you create a horizontal line let's say you entered the value here as 5 and you will get a line parallel to the z axis so here in this area you have to consider this as x parameter y and z like that z y and x you enter these values and when you click on create automatically a line is created next we will see how to create line from two points you click on this icon and you will get this editing box at the bottom of the window I, I have explained where this a feature creation or editing box appears and now you have to select the first point you can either enter the values here or you can snap it to grid or or snap it to any point first you need to define the first point and then the next point here we have two options of uh, creating the second point you have selected the first point first option a second option I mean the first option is to enter the coordinates of the second point or simply define the length and the angle next is connected line the connected line is continuous line you either click on uh, snap on to grid or you can use edges 
the benefit of connected line is it won't come out of the line window after creating first line it will keep on asking for the two point and the angle line angle line is very much similar to the horizontal or vertical line it is infinite line and here when you click on this radio button from horizontal the angle is considered as 20 degrees from horizontal plane and if you opt for from vertical the angle is considered from vertical plane and you can also define angle from line you click on here and select the line or you after setting what type of angle line you require you just need to define a point where you can place this angle line then next is my favorite line offset generally what happens in while uh, designing a a part is you just create the vertical and horizontal line from the center and then offset it and create the final model this has been a general practice throughout in a uh, cad industry like we first define the axis x y or z create a vertical and horizontal line offset it to wherever whichever shape we require and then trim it out next we'll see circle how to create circles the first is creating a circle from by defining a radius and defining the center point you have to enter the values here the center point could be snapped or you can define the point enter the coordinates then we have circle from center and snapping to edge or create defining the edge so we'll pick the center by snapping or giving the coordinates here we have to see x y z uh, coordinates this is x y and z coordinates once you have defined the center point you can snap it to a, a edge or a grid or a tangent or simply define the coordinates of the edge i mean the second point then we have circle from diameter this is similar to a, a two point circle creation we have to define one of the quadrant either by snapping or enter the coordinates and define the second point either by snapping or defining the coordinates next we have circle that is tangent to two lines you have to enter the radius and snap it to two lines then you will get a circle tangent to two lines with particular radius next we have circle with radius and two points here we will be defining the radius and we will be either selecting uh, snapping the two points or entering the coordinates next we have circle from three points here we all the three points either has to be snapped or the coordinates has to be entered now i'll explain you how to do it in feature cam 